I ain't know, ain't nobody make him do that. Yeah. So how could it how could it be a how could, how could it be yeah, how could it be a setup for him if nobody made him do it? He done that on his own. Yeah, yeah. So well I what I wonder is if something happens in the games where one team seems to know the other's playbook and then, you know, when in fact it was just just like the Super Bowl with Tampa Bay and, and the Raiders. You know, no one leaked that playbook to Tampa Bay, and just it was agreed upon that the Raiders were to lose that Super Bowl, and so they went with a playbook that John Gruden knew. So yeah, I mean, who's to say that they didn't watch the game and realize that oh, Something fishy's going on, and they try to point fingers and say, "Oh, Dormandy." And got to the bottom of it. Yeah, yeah. Basically, he just ends up being a fall guy mm. when they were doing shady stuff or something, but he ends up having to take the fall. Yeah, but he had to. Why him out of everybody? Yeah, exactly. Mm. That's a good question. How about? Hey, you know, if you're the starting quarterback, you'd be dumb to give all away your offensive yeah, playbook. Exactly. Yeah. You know, get your back bro. Yeah, I mean <laughs> yeah. that's the way to get yourself killed. Yeah, the defense on your ass. <laughs> yeah, like, they show them. They interested in a, in those plays. Yeah, here's the play I'm gonna do. Uh, when you sack me, don't sack me hard though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, you know, it, it just it's making no sense. Yeah, I mean, I understand if it's somebody other than the quarterback, but the quarterback and the running back are the last two people that wants the defense to know what the hell's going on. Right, especially the quarterback. Yeah. Right, he's gonna get hit. Yeah. Yeah. It's like now. This play, I am never even gonna look at my blindside receiver. So if you blitz a corner and just kill me from yeah. behind, yeah. then yeah. I won't even know it's coming. Not in my helmet off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, they they may be trying to you know get in cast some uh, some a little boost. Oh yeah. Maybe maybe some um. You know, kind of some payback for treating him bad you know, last month. Oh, yeah. Putting him out, so they gave him a little recognition. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Up, win a couple games. You yeah. Know what I mean? Give him a chance to get in the NFL. He might have found out who the who was really behind whatever the hell it was he got accused of. Yeah. And they were like, hey, hey, let's Keep make a deal. Yeah. yeah, yeah, let's make a deal. We'll, we'll let yeah. you come back and start yeah. your games, and we'll, we'll work with you. Yeah. Maybe so, you never know, man. Because it's, to me, Paul is all theater, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's entertainment at the, when, at the bottom line. And like The Rock and WFWE, they know that more than anybody. That's, that wrestling has been going since I was a kid. It was going before me and I'm doing something. You know well, see, it's like everything we watch. Everything yeah. we watch is the same way. It's like the news and everything. It's yeah. like... They have their agendas and the things that they do and the dirty stuff that they do, the government and the things that they do. Yeah, yeah. And they show you on TV something totally different. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. They what they want to see. Yeah, yeah. So they, what y'all think about the, uh, all the countries getting rid of the U.S. dollar? Hmm. I mean, it ain't never going to happen. And too much work would have to go into them. Not, not doing all it. the countries, but you know. Oh, yeah. The Brits, China, the China, Brits, China, and China and Russia wants to do it. And Russia. Yeah, yeah China and Russia is going to do it. There's some countries that's done signed up for it. 
But I, but you know how many countries it is though? Yeah. That that just itching to get with the United States at the same time as, as that's what I thought of the day. I'm like, as they lose them, it's other countries itching to be popular with the yeah, United States. Yeah. They pour in there. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Well see that's the problem. I mean Russia and China are together and they're want they're wanting to set this thing up. But in the end, I mean the United States has more allies than they have. That's all I'm saying. You know, so that's going to be hard to come down with. But I mean, that? even 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 if they both get, like you said, even if they do do away with the U.S. dollar, it's it, only thing that means is to me is we just got to start buying American. Yeah. Like we got everything that they we get yeah, exported. Yeah. Well, our biggest problem in in America is just the fact that Import. well, in yeah. everywhere, mm -hmm. in everywhere, what's money worth? No. Whatever the hell they say it is. Exactly. You know, what's gold worth? Yeah. Only what somebody says right. it's worth. Yeah. I mean, your money is only worth whatever they want. It's just like, you know, four years ago, when we had a different president, $10 meant I could get two meals <laughs> yeah. at Taco Bell. Now it's just one. Now it's just one <laughs> minute. Everybody needs to put so, up some money with that team. My ten dollars means <laughs> something totally different yeah. four years later than it did four years ago, That's you true. know? So, our money just means whatever the hell they want it to mean. I was telling Jesse, though, yesterday, him and Miguel, we were talking. It may have been a day because Jesse got in trouble brooding about the dollar. Yeah, that's what he was telling me. I was saying, in, in my mind, like, what they talking about doing is, like, for, like, gas and international trade. I don't think the money is going to be... Devalue in in America. That's what I'm saying. To us, it's still that's what, that's what us, I said. Or to us, it's a form of trade. So inside here, now if we try to go abroad, that's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. I may go. Well, may. Uh, you know, and the other thing we talked about, about, like something made in China or something yeah, made yeah. in some yeah. other place, is going to now be more expensive for you to buy. Exactly. That. You know, that's yeah. the only. Which we that's don't the have anyway. Uh, yeah. We got a lot of American made stuff. So we need to be yeah, buying back from them home anyway. Buy it because it is cheaper or whatever than it just shit tear up before you buy something from Come America on. that lasts you two, three Come years on. longer. You know, so it's stop just, buying yeah. American, y'all. That's, that's it. it. Stop buying American. That's it that. to me. I, I think that because especially inside of America. They can't fuck with the dollar over here. No, you know what I'm saying? Like, is but then we go over there to buy a barrel of oil, we probably had to take, you know, two, three hundred extra dollars because our money probably ain't worth nothing to them, or, you know, outside. Yeah, that's what they're trying to do away with. But them. inside of here, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't see. I don't see. I mean, of course, this. stuff going to make get a little more expensive. It already has. Yeah, but it already has. So yeah. it's like, I don't it's think you're going to feel it like, oh, it's going to be a depression and we're going to, they start, it's going to be so recession. And all honesty, I think all these countries are in together on everything anyway. Yeah. 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 America ain't on the brick shit. I yeah. Think. Yeah. yeah. All of them, I think they all in Washington, D.C. Putin, Kim Jong Un, everybody, <laughs> and when they, when they want to look like they, they just, South Korea, they bring Kim Jong Jung they out and they, they film him in front of some shit. You got some Japanese on them. Yeah, they want to up the price or something. They want to up the price or something. They give you a reason for it, you know. Yeah. 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 Or. They need to decrease the population a little bit. Let's just <laughs> let's just start a war over here in yeah, Ukraine exactly. for nothing. For nothing. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if you looked at it, and then side trying to kill them people off like that. Shoot. Yeah. I send them plum. I get them guns that don't work, and they, they got damn it rockets that ain't got no Russian. But yeah, <laughs> ain't got no damn gunpowder. Yeah. That's what I heard on the internet. They, they just sending them anything over. Yeah, they I got get them for running into battle. Nothing. So I Dude, wonder why China not supplying them with weapons or can't, or, and, and America can with Ukraine. Like, what, what, what's the deal? You know what? It all comes sad. down to it. All it is, this is, a, you know, my opinion, this is all a war about money. Mm -hmm. Biden has his money over there. Biden's the one that's wanting to send every, he wants to send the military over there. Yeah. You know, they're not going all out. They said they send them over there. They said they send them over there just ain't knowing that. I mean, you know, they He like has money to send them back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, Train. everything always has to do with money. He has his money over there, and it's just like when Bush went to war yeah, and Iraq right. for nothing, no right. reason. And then all of a sudden, Iraq, the smart people in Iraq was like, Okay, up yours and started burning all those oil reserves that they had over there. Yeah, yeah. Like, here you go, mother fricker, come get it. <laughs> you know? And then 
you know, Bush is all on TV like, this has nothing to do with oil, why we're going over there. Yeah. And then the next thing you know, it's like, you know, uh, we're going to treat you as terrorists for burning those oil. Why are you going over there yeah. and saying you're not going over there for oil, but you've got a problem with them burning off the oil? Yeah, exactly. on, on their land. Yeah. They all. Yeah. yeah. You, I can't you're, burn my own shit up. Yeah, yeah. You're mad you at charge that. me in America. Yeah. As an American, yeah. but I'm way over here in Iraq. They send out, they send our people over to go into wars to fight for their money. Yeah, you know it's like your kids going over there and dying for a look for a look for bit George money. Bush to have his gas money for Dick Cheney to have his gas money. Yeah, because they all people, the Bushes and Chinese, they they all all in Texas. Yes. They all, they're Texans, you know. man. Oh yeah, and that. That whole thing, everything that set up that that they whole thing. They made millions of dollars in Iraq, billions, man. Oh yeah, and, and, and off war. Yeah. Oh yeah, and off war. And yeah, off the war. Yeah, yeah. That's and that's weapons the, and all that being sold and money being made off all that, bro. It's not those rich frickers out there in Washington that do it. They need to take all the Congress, all the Senate, yeah, put, them, them, on put the front them on the front line. Yeah, that's we'll, right. And we'll see how they like. Yeah. Where was they too old though, man? What do you think about term? Them motherfuckers couldn't last over there. They old oh, man. Everybody them Congress. Do everybody a favor. Right? <laughs> no, but what he's saying is they said it like this. Yeah, they said it like this, yeah, man. What take that? Yeah, man. put their ass on them. Yeah, they, 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 nah. they shoot a damn gun and break their bones off. The but that's they the ain't thing. been doing them a land and sit getting fat off the people. Yeah. Shit, they ain't in no shape or nothing. Yeah, everybody's just. They just take everything that we do and use our money, our labor, everything, and and they're making off with it. Yeah. You know, they're what doing whatever they want. Term term limit. Limit. America is a well. America is a well oil machine, boy. And it's working. It, it's turning. Oh it's yeah. It's turning. Work. But like you said, we all us work for the same company. Mm -hmm. right, they take taxes out our check. Well, they, it goes directly to the government yeah. to do well, what. <laughs> and they they Whatever want to, they, they want to turn us against each other. Yeah, it's like the whole black white thing to me. Yeah. That is getting way deep for the, this guy. But to me, no, it's, it's cool. just them trying to turn all of us regular people against each yeah. other. Yeah. They don't care if we're killing each other. Yeah, because it's rich, rich, rich and poor, regardless. Yeah, it's, it's, it's black, it's, mustard, yeah. white, whatever y'all. Yeah, they all rich. They cool. Exactly. That's why I say I hate Steve Harvey. Getting on and talking about stuff, you know, like someone gets shot, someone gets done this way, someone gets done that way. You know what? Yeah, that happens to people that don't have money. Yeah. But the difference between me, why does, you know, why does Sour Cream <laughs> and Steve Harvey, that between the two of us, if one of us gets pulled over, which one's more likely to get drug out and beat the shit out of? You. Me. Because he's rich. Exactly. exactly. I found out that, that the cops killed 1,053 people a year. But only 25% of those is black and 50 some percent of them is white. So it's like, but I would imagine that 85% of them was poor though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, more and, than that. Mean, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so you, you know. Like, it's, they not killing, they not pulling rich people out and killing them that, like that, man. So, and, 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 and it goes across the board. Almost, Hispanics almost get murdered by the police as much as black people. Asians, not so much. They in that 1%, less than 1%. That's what's so funny. I, I've done that same research. Yeah. When all this stuff happened and it started becoming yeah. a big deal. So I looked in Trump's era. I looked in, um, oh man, um, Biden's time mm -hmm. in office. And then I looked at uh, Obama's time in office, and guess what? It's the same. Yeah. <laughs> there is no. You know, there's a they, they did. They did. The, the, the reason why I said 1,053 because that was the that's the average from 1977 to 2007, and, and it basically keeps going. That's the same thing about um, the Corona deaths um, and whatever. Like the flu death has been consistent for thirty years. It's, the, it's like you know what I mean. Like it's it's like when when some when something happens in a society, it generally keeps the same pace, man. No matter the population or whatever, it keeps the same pace. Like thirty six thousand or a certain amount of people die from um, pneumonia every year, uh, the, the common flu or whatever. Uh, so many people die from heart disease. So many people. 
during the coronavirus, those numbers went down, and that don't happen, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, corona numbers went up, but, like, heart disease went down. It don't happen. It's consistent over the years per the numbers. If you look it up, the same amount of people, approximately, of course, yeah. you know, not down to the actual number, the same amount of people die from these same diseases every year consistently for decades. Man. And it's always follow the money. Yeah. Yeah. Because in the end, they were giving money to hospitals that lost people to corona. Yeah. So if you died of the flu, <laughs> yes, you corona. died of corona. <laughs> you know, you died of heart disease, it was corona. Yeah. You know, they just, everything was always that way during that period of yeah. time. So hardly anybody died of the flu during that period exactly. of time. Exactly. But like what you were talking about, I went back in the last two decades and the numbers in the last two decades that I saw were like 1,200, 1,200, yeah. 1,200 people killed by cops every year, 300 black, 200 Mexican, you know, yeah. and the other the uh, 800 white. white people. Yeah. And like you say, mostly poor. Now, this is the thing people don't. don't they don't research. This that. is the thing it's, people yeah. don't know and don't realize. Yeah. Because I, I'm going to tell you right now, I have been pulled out of my car and a gun pulled and put in my face by a police officer. Me too. And let me tell <laughs> me you, too. all I did, all I did was run a red light in front of him. Yeah. And it wasn't intentional. Yeah. I was just going up to the red light and I thought about stopping and I started to stop. Yeah. And then I just kept going. And so. <laughs> So you thought about stopping? Yeah, it was one of those deals where you're like, oh shit, I've already went too far anyway. Yeah, exactly. And then I went yeah. up. Well, but you're going to have to lock him up to stop. I didn't yeah. know there was a cop behind me. He thought I knew he was behind yeah, me. And I was sitting there purpose, taunting yeah. him per <laughs> on purpose. So he pulls me out, sticks a gun in my face. And, you know, for some reason, you just have to know me. I, yeah. I'm not, it's very hard to scare me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to me, I was just like, I wasn't, I wasn't scared, I, and it pissed him off even more. He's like, got a gun in my face yelling at me. And I'm like, I, I held my tongue because it was hard for me, because nothing I could have said in this moment yeah. was going to be great. You know, like, well, if I'd have saw you back there, I would have stopped, or, you know, of course I didn't see you back there. You know, but anything I said would have been smart yeah, about it, so yeah. I just sat there and looked at him, like, what do you want me to say, you yeah. know? Nothing. And so, uh, anyway, he got back in there and cooled down, sent whatever female officer he had. And this was in Crossville, Tennessee, mm -hmm. in a deputy sheriff's car. So, anyway, I went to a lawyer. Yeah. And the lawyer basically told me, you're not a minority. You've not, you know, there's no religious deal here. There's nothing. He's like, no one's going to care. He's like, he's like, I can go so and you're subpoena. You probably can do something. Yeah, funny. he actually said that. He said that. He's like, you know, me and you would both be rich if you well, were. Yeah, you were that. yeah, yeah, that's what you're saying. If you were a minority, we'd be rich yeah, right now. Exactly. He's like, but I can go and get a court order for his camera and what he did. And we can take it to court, and there's not a single person in that jury that's going to give a crap about yeah. you. They're going to see you run that red light and say, that's got to get Yeah, exactly, exactly. Broke the law. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. And somebody, He's like, if somebody in the jury would be like, I wish you'd have shot him. You know? yeah. and, and, and see, that's another thing, too, that I, I was telling people um, back then. Like, I said, man, I ain't really just supporting these kids and making these funny, money-ass moves. Because I'm a, well, I know... Uh, they Spare said that he's what he, he's what people call a victim blamer. But I'm like everybody else because I'm gonna tell you something. White person get killed by the police, the first thing a white person gonna say, what do he do? They ain't gonna say, that's a shame they're killing the hell out of us. They finna say, what do he do? Because they don't feel like the police be wrong first. They yeah. that ain't yeah, the yeah. first thing they think about. I saw one. You know, you know, first thing we think about is fuck the police. I saw one <laughs> just like that on the, on the news. And it was this white guy uh, had come to the door and he, he, wouldn't write, he wouldn't put his hands up. Yeah. He had no gun. He had nothing on him. Yeah. He was at his house. He wouldn't put his hands up. Well, they shot and killed him. <laughs> And his brother gets on the news and he's like, well, they told him to put his hands up. <laughs> yeah. His own brother. He's like, I love my brother and everything, but they told him to put his hands up. That's what I'm saying. And that's the thing about it. Like, that's the first. It was a, a down in, in one of these counties. I can't remember around here close. The sheriff, it was a couple years back, the sheriff killed a man in his yard or in somebody's yard. And he, but he had a rifle or something. Uh, and 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 it, you can hear all the people in the background telling him, Billy, put it down. Billy, put it. They they telling him, they telling him. 
put the gun down because they're going to kill you, man. Right. But they wasn't saying, hey, don't kill him because Billy ain't going to do nothing. You know, yeah, they yeah. probably knew Billy wasn't going to do nothing. But <laughs> yeah, you, they can't do, you can't be in yeah. front of the police We're with that gun. weapon that yeah. they tell you put it down. Yeah, I mean, it's it's, it's, if you're legal and it's legal to carry, you can still put it down. But if they say, put it down, put it down. Let them figure it out. out. Let them figure the shit out. Yeah. 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 Up on his own. Exactly, man. And, that's, and look, the neighbors, when they shot the shit out of them, they watched them do it. And that's well, he should have put that weapon yeah. down. They didn't fucking get mad no, at the police. That's the thing, man. though. Yeah. That's the thing, though. Even with me, like, they say put it down. Put it, unless I'm trying to get suicide. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm <laughs> man the fucking gun yeah, exactly. down, man. These people are, they got a job. And they yeah. got an edge. Yeah. Well, and here's the thing. The media, and this is what all, everybody needs to come to understand. All of us, we need to stick together. Yeah. Uh, that's the hard black, part. white, that's Mexican, the we, we all need to stick together to stay against the media and all these other people that are trying to, 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 to separate us. To cause us to kill and hurt each other. Yeah. Because they want that. They don't, they want us poor people to, to hurt each they other. They want us to be in harmony because then Definitely if not. we do that, then we start listening to each other. We now, start now we're going against them. Now it's like, whoa, they right. doing this to us. Right. And now we, we figured it out because now we're going to talk to this guy and just because he white, you know, we, he got the same views as me, but I don't know that because yeah. it's hey, Yeah, because yeah. they got you know this. Yeah. 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 Well, well, you know, man, any, any, any kind of differences because he a uh, Catholic and he's a Muslim. Anything. You we can't, Anything. We can't communicate together because if we, if we do, we might figure out that we probably we might be getting bamboozled. Yeah, we've been getting, getting bamboozled. Yeah, bamboo. 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 And that's why that's why people like us when we get together, and that's like even at work, we have a we have a huge mixed group. Yeah. And we all get together yeah, and talk. Family, and we yeah. find out. We find out. We find we're yeah. like, hey, we're not against each other. No. You know? I mean, you see somebody like Buck. Mm -hmm. You know, it kind of puts you aback, like, yeah. oh man, you know, red, this man. dude probably be flying a rebel flag in his backyard and stuff. You, you might be nervous, or but once you get to know him and find out, it's just like I always tell people, Love with Jerry, him. like Uncle Bob. I work, Love him. <laughs> I work with freaking Jerry, yeah. and we go down. We actually went down roads called General Mac MacArthur yeah. and uh, uh, what was the? Oh, I can't. Uh, Nathan Bedford Forest, Bedford, Bedford, Bedford yeah. Forest yeah. Court. Yeah. yeah, Jerry, as black as night. Mm. These people love him. Yeah, they open their garage door and let him Big go beer. in. He just go in there. Yeah, on, yeah. <laughs> on Jerry MacArthur walks into their garage and grabs a beer. Oh, I'm, America, baby. I'm in here looking at this guy coming <laughs> out. Like get him. Him. <laughs> this guy gonna get. It. But everybody loves Jerry, yeah. and I went to a house, and it it was a trailer, and this guy was flying a rebel flag. Comes out, and him and Jerry were had been talking before, obviously, and he's yeah. like, "Come in here, Jerry. I want you to come in my house." And I'm like, "This doesn't as, <laughs> as, a, as a white person you looking that, on." You, you couldn't write that down in the, in the script of a movie. Yeah, as a white person looking on, I'm like, "Don't go in there, Jerry." You know. Because we're accustomed to believe yeah. a certain thing. Jerry walks in and the guy's like, I want you to meet my mother. Yeah. And his mother is like talking. And you know, obviously she lived in the time when, yeah, right. when that kind yeah, of right. bad stuff that we talked about happened. She loved Jerry to death too. That's what I'm saying. But it's like, we're yeah. all bad. Yeah. We're yeah. all, all bad. all of us get together just fine. And we can all be friends just fine when you take the media out of the, the yeah. story. And the media, like you said, 1,200 people got killed by cops. They pick one story <laughs> to figure out how to piss all of us off at exactly. each other. Because what happens is, in the black community, they'll get mad, they'll march. Mm -hmm. And they'll make a big deal about how, how could this happen, how could this happen. Yeah. And then yeah. the, the white community normally doesn't care so much but when there's a big deal they're all of a sudden going to take a side yeah. now you're causing those rifts but the side they're going to take is the same side that they take against their people what the hell did he do why would he yeah, yeah. fly why didn't he put the well, gun and that's what they say about they vote but that's what he should put the, you know and they like this here well he should put the gun yeah, like yeah. that oh, yeah, man yeah. and all man like what in the fuck but then you have this other group of white people and they're the ones that are going to be at your rallies and more likely to get violent. They don't throw bricks and shit. Yeah, they're yeah. the ones. They're the, the white people are the ones you gotta watch out for. They're the ones you gotta watch out for at the damn rallies. And man. then come to find out, like 
my niece is one of those people that was going to the Black Lives Matter rallies and mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. And she wasn't throwing bricks with us. Her people went and cemented the bricks, but you know, she found out who put the bricks there. Oh, for real? Well, how did the bricks get yeah. there? Bricks out there in the middle of the street oh, when a riot's coming. Yeah, they know it's there, they put they them there. They got to know it's there. Yeah, to, and that's to what them to be thrown. That's what my niece said. She was with some of the people that were getting the riots together, and the people getting the riots together were like, listen, they're individual government communities, yeah. <laughs> entities, entities, yeah. not yeah. communities, that will go and put bricks there, and yeah. we need to take care of that because we want these protests to be peaceful. peaceful yeah. So they went and took mortar and, and hardened it, it. And poured it on the bricks. So that nobody could pick up a brick and yeah. throw it. But like you say, you go in there, where the hell did all the bricks come from? from? It ain't these poor people, it ain't the no. people that go out there. It's just no. like with the whole uh, riots that happened at the Capitol building. Yeah, yeah. You know, supposedly... Everybody, yeah, they said that was peaceful at first. Everybody didn't do that, man. Supposedly, it was FBI people... Run and this was the story, no and once again, this is my opinion, they so nobody can go him. He yeah. got away too. He didn't get no, he didn't he, charge him like the other January. Exactly, and that's what I heard too, yeah. same thing. But they're the ones, those implants, or those plants they that they had in them, they started doing stuff, and all you got to do in a crowd is do something like that. Yeah. You know, it's like I always told, I always... I always tell my parents, you know, they're like, if your friends jumped off a bridge, would you do it too? I'm like, well, if I look down and they lived and they have fun doing do it, it yeah. I'm going with them, you know? <laughs> Most, nine times out of ten. I've done it before. Like, yeah. you know, they jump off into the water and, hey, it's, it's okay, you know? But I want to, course, my question is, what do they get out of them riding? Like, they wanted them to bust up the buildings and burn down the town? Like, it's always a magician. Uh, you know, like the magician has his hand over here, but he's doing his tricks over here. Yeah. He wants everybody looking at a certain thing. Now, during all of these riots, all these bad things that was happening, what was coming up? The freaking election. Mm -hmm. All this stuff was to make you look and say, hey, the current administration is racist, yeah. and the current administration is causing all this stuff. We need we something need else. Yeah. yeah, we need something else, something better. Because this kind of stuff is yeah, going on. Yeah, that makes sense. And so they Not put, about it. they implant this these thoughts in your head, and then they turn everybody against each other because they don't care if we're killing each other. Uh -huh. In fact, that works out to their benefit. You yes, know. Sir. Officially pop it off, Paulie. All right. Welcome to Conspiracy Theories Football. We're your host, Paul Bunyan. You got Antonio Mater Roberts. You got Leslie the Mayor Davis. And we're coming to you this week and telling you, we hope you listened to us last week. I mean, if you listened to us last week, you made money. Hmm. We told you what to do. We said, now the week before, we told you to take Orlando, the points, and the over. And guess what happened? Hit. Orlando cleared the points went and over. went over. You would have won. Now, last week, we told you the same thing. It was the same setup. The same thing was going on again. We said, take Orlando, take the money, and the over. But if you didn't listen to us, you're really aching right now because me and my buddy Mayer here told you that Orlando was going to win that game. Oh, we, we saw it coming. Now, Mayer, the week before, was so sure it was going to happen. He saw it coming. And he's the reason why the next week I'm like, well, Mater saw it last week. It's happening now. It happened. And it did. Everything happened. Man, if you had a bet. $100 at least got you, what, 600 uh, at least? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you'd have taken the over and took Orlando straight up, you would have made nearly a grand. Mm -hmm. It was a. Uh, 100 bucks. Yeah. Nine and a half <laughs> point underdog. Who can't take an extra grand? Yeah. <laughs> Off a hundred. Who couldn't use that? Yeah. Yeah, who couldn't use that? So, we, hey, we're setting you guys up. We're giving you what you need. You know, you just got to pay attention and listen. We figured out stuff. And like I say, my, my co-host here, they, they kind of got me on stuff. And let's just give it out. Our man Leslie, last week. What I do? Took the whole picture. Found the whole picture. And that was it. And, and we that was it. It went through it. It did the same thing you said. And we knew when it happened. Now, I, our buddy Mater here wins the money this week. Mm -hmm. he, he won it all this week because, now, Leslie, our man, got every pick right, but 
you know, picking Orlando in the money line was like 400 points yeah, almost. Yeah. yeah. So. Because I took the points. Yeah. Oh, so it's plus 400. Yeah. So 100 would have got you 400, my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but I, I, I went with also. With the parlay. With but the parlay. But I'm saying, I was just guessing when I say six, but it would have been 400. Yeah, yeah. It was it was quite a pick by our buddy here, Mater. Uh, but like I say, Leslie was explaining it last week. The whole picture that he saw coming up. And what he saw was that the Battle Hawks and the Roughnecks were going to be there. But the Roughnecks are in such a division that they don't have to win. They don't have to win. And so they can lose games and still be in the end. They're, still they, represent their division. Exactly. And they, so. They still had an Arlington. Yeah. They still had an Arlington. They got them. They got them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, you know like saying? you said. And it happened just like you said. And so he said, he convinced me. And me. Because I knew my Battle Hawks were going to lose to Houston until he said that. Yeah. Now I went ahead and kept my pick and I even said it on the show because yeah. it wasn't fair to steal from Les. <laughs> it wasn't fair to steal because he didn't want to give us because he had it. Yeah. He had it. He knew it. He saw it. He got every game right because he saw the picture that the XFL was All doing. four games? All four games he got them right. $100 you know, got you a brain, son. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm playing. Don't it was it. it's something else. Only that, yeah, because the only way, only way I lost is that I pick, I took the points on Orlando and instead of just money. You still win? Well, we, yeah, I'm talking about you know. Five, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's a fourteen parlay, huh, Junior? Yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. What? That's a hundred dollars. Get you a thousand. Yeah, and they covered the points. Ten got you a hundred. Yeah. Hey, Don't slide the old numbers in there. Oh man, that's been sweet. That was that was something. Hey, and it was so funny because once you said it, we all we all understood. It, it, like, made sense. it was yeah, like a it super made sense. picture. Yeah, it made out. sense, bro. It made all the sense in the world to me. I was like, hold on. It, so much so, I changed, man. <laughs> it wasn't no shame in my game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like you said, I don't have to use my brain as much. These guys' brain is working just fine, yeah. and I don't have no problem picking back off any thoughts and ideas because. Mm -hmm. They, they valid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, and that was me. I, I just felt like I wasn't going to take... Yeah. I would have hated yeah. to take Leslie's money. And beat him with it. Yeah. <laughs> I hate to take his money yeah. and beat him with his own. I don't even want to take Yeah, yeah. That was what was But it didn't have to be right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, just so happy it was. Yeah. When you, I'm talking about to the point where... Uh, uh, Houston lost again because they could stand it. Yeah. I, I was like, what? I looked. I was like... Get that. And they get still got the best record in that yeah, division. That's why I said it made sense when you said it. So when it actually happened, it, I, I was still like, damn. Yeah, that for that long. All over that. Because I know everybody thought Houston was going to jump bounce that's back. What oh, yeah. That's, 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 that's what happened. Oh, yeah. That's why I said I could see that happening with you. Yeah. Oh, I was so crystal clear to me. And then, crazy. with everything coming together, I, you know, I remember the week before mm. that they lost their cool. Yeah, and they usually, you know, like I said with the Jets and the NFL, they 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 show you this picture and say, now look at this. We want you to see this. Yeah, and you, this was going. You happen. have right. a reason to believe us when we tell you that this dominant team now is going to lose to the crappiest team yeah, out there. Exactly. You know, they they need you to see everything come together in such a way. But yeah. now the Orlando one, they were letting you see Dormandy. Making his moves yeah. so that you could see that hey, this this is an up and start team. They almost beat the Roughnecks. Yeah. So when they do beat DC, you're not going to question the validity of right. the win. Right. They're making a surge. Right. Yeah, exactly. End of the season surge. Mm -hmm. No matter how bad they've been all season, right. you know, because they professionals or they high high top tier. And that's the thing. That's what make it interesting when you yeah. gamble because. It don't matter about the on six against the six and zero because, like you said, the points that are to make it way out, mm -hmm. and then you don't give a damn. You don't, they don't lost six as long as they win this one for you. <laughs> you know, oh, yeah. so, so you'll still pick them regardless. Exactly. They yeah. have on six. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, and now it, as you're watching the games, you know the Guardians have the worst record still. Yeah. yeah. But two weeks ago, you would have said they were the worst team in the XFL. And now you definitely like have to question that because first of all they beat the best team supposedly, yeah. you know, the team that's already beat all the higher tier teams. Yeah. They beat everybody already. And it was a wild, it was a wild game too. Yeah. I mean, like like I said in our thing, the Guardians have a piss pot poor defense. Yeah. yeah you know, yeah. 
So they gave up 37 points, so Dormandy had to put up 38, uh, you know, and that's what happened. They, they, they put up 38 against them, so they, they were able to cover yeah. uh, or to win the game. So that was, that was huge. Yeah, and that's why I took the points. I didn't really think. I thought that Dormandy would keep them in close. You knew they would come. Yeah, but I didn't think that, right. that they would beat them, though. Right. So I was really, that was my hesitation. And then you can't do that when you're down there. You got to be sure. Yeah, so, so, so for your money, you, yeah. that's what they know. Yeah, exactly. They know who, how many people taking them head up. Exactly. Not, Not many. many. Exactly. And see, I went with your thing because your whole thing was the Battle Hawks. You know, they're going to have to to make yeah. some moves yeah. and get up there. Yeah. And DC was way ahead of the pack. So they need back DC down. to come yeah. back down. So we'll see how long they, they continue the DC slide. Yeah. You know, will the DC slide be the same as the Houston the, slide? Yeah, I know, because they can stand it. I oh, yeah. Fines, they know they're going to be in the playoffs. Yeah. We, we, I, I, by the end of the show, we'll have we're, 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 our collective brains will come up with a, with, with a scenario. <laughs> yeah. And, I pretty, and we'll pretty much be on it. This, yeah, this, yeah. This is a tough week, though, coming up. Week eight, and eight is a real tough week because I'm really drawing a blank on a lot of this stuff. Yeah, this week is going to be tough. It's a tough pick week because it's not – last week was a lot of important games. Yeah. This week, the games – there's one actually super important game, but it's hard to pick. Yeah. What the XFL wants to do with it, and unfortunately, like with the NFL, I was able to do so well picking the NFL because I got to see where the money was going. Yeah, yeah. Not necessarily the money, but where most of the bets were going. Yeah. Because one thing to know that the money is always going to determine it. Yeah. You know, when there's like 80% of the actual money going on something, you know, you can pretty much be guaranteed it's going. That's why they never tell you that. Yeah. That's why you can't find the actual bad. money. Yeah. You know, all you'll find is, oh, well, the majority of the bets are going this way. Yeah. You know, that's all you'll see. They don't tell you the actual money because if they did, it would be huge for gamblers because gamblers know the trick. Yeah. They, they know where it's at. Right, right, right. So this week, though, we'll go ahead and go into our teams, go into our picks, and... See what you guys think about it, but this week, the big game that's completely lopsided as far as the spread goes is my buddy, Leslie's Vipers. The Vegas Vipers are playing the St. Louis Battle Hawks. Kaka! I can say it proudly this week. Yeah. They're, they're back in looking dominant, you know, beat Houston. Kaka! Yeah. All right. Now this week, they're a seven point favorite against the Vegas Vipers. Mm -hmm. So who wants to take the first stab at this one? Yeah, that's his team, I'll give it to him. Okay. Yeah. And uh, you know what? And, and I'm not even picking with my heart at this point. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking that, um, that they let the Vipers win a couple games, they'll keep this one close. So I'm gonna take the seven. Yeah. yeah. Same period. Yeah. Because, you know, they're going to want <clears throat> they gonna want all the teams, especially the fans, to be endeared to the teams individually or whatnot. They want to what, make all the teams look like they, you know, improving and entertaining or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So I think they'll keep it close, just like the uh, Orlando and, and D.C. last week. That was a close game, uh, with the, uh, basically between the worst team and the best team. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it, and it stayed close. So I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna pick my Vipers, man. And y'all don't take that seven points. Seven Vipers plus seven. See, I'm gonna go with you but for different reasons. Okay. Uh the last time that the Battle Hawks and Vipers played, it was quite a big loss for the Vipers. Mm -hmm. It was like twenty six to nine. Yeah. And so to me, I think if the money's involved then everybody's gonna be thinking, hey, this spread, I should take it. Yeah. A little about a point, point and a half off. Ah, so it's 46 half and a half. Half a point to a point and a half. Okay. We'll say 45. It, oh, okay, well, okay, 46 and a half, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. We'll do the 46 and a half, and uh, I'm gonna go with the under on that. Um, I mean, to me, both these teams, are pretty good. The Vipers don't put up very many points. Yeah. You know, I think they'll have to put up some points this time yeah. just to keep it within the seven. Exactly. So, you know, I'm thinking more like a 21 to 20 kind of game. Yeah. 
and uh, keep it under that 46 and a half. So I like that. I like that under on that. Yeah, I'm wrong. As, that. as far as the spread, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go against both of my co-hosts this week, man. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna come out and the Kakas are they'll carve a little little lead on Vegas. Vegas will score and uh it'll go under. But you're you able to sell? Yeah, I'm gonna up to seven. So you're taking St. Louis minus seven? Kaka. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> now what about the the over under? I like the under. You still like the under. Yeah, I jumped on your plan one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, uh, to me, Especially if the game was a legitimate game, it's definitely yeah. not gonna, you know, because you know Vegas has a good defense. Yeah. Their defense usually shows they up pretty, pretty good. good. They just don't score points. Yeah. yeah, their offense is just really, really. The defense bad. can score points. They'd be bad probably, but they they stop them. They do pretty good on defense. Oh yeah. They just don't score points. They need a they need a few touchdowns on defense yeah. is the big thing, you know. <laughs> probably. And sometimes <laughs> sometimes McCarron obliges, you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He throws he throw to the team. Yeah, like I said, he throws a very catchable ball. <laughs> that that might be the only points of uh, Vegas get this week. They're getting yeah. back on their losing ways this week because like you said, two, three weeks in a row they've been covering and cutting up and winning. Yeah. Yeah, but they ain't making the playoffs regardless. Exactly. So exactly. It's all under dressing at this yeah. point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, our next game will be really interesting to see. And to me, it would be interesting to find out how people are betting on this. Uh -huh. Because you got the Orlando Guardians playing at home versus the Renegades, the Arlington Renegades. Mm -hmm. And it's only a one and a half point spread. And as we talked before on this show, most of the time, the uh, home team gets a three point. Mm -hmm. Bar none, you know. Yeah. If they're the favorite team, it'll be over three points. If it's like should be even teams, then it'll be exactly three yeah. points. Yeah. So they're only getting a point and a half, saying that the Renegades are the better team. And if so you've wa watched the last few weeks, then you would have to disagree with that, and you'd have to believe that the Guardians are going to win this game. And it's hard for me. So it's the, hard for me to go against them. So it's the Guardians minus one and a half. Yes. After they beat, home. After they beat. After they beat DC. The yeah. best team out there. That's where that's coming from. Yeah. Why right, you say it's hard to go against them, Paul? Well, because they surge. They made late season. Yeah. Surge. You, you if you watch that game, them putting up thirty eight points yeah. against supposedly the best team, and now they're playing Arlington. Yeah. <laughs> You know, middle range team, yeah. and that's where the whole conspiracy thing's gonna come in because you know, I would imagine some people may bet against the Guardians because of the one and six record. Yeah, yeah. But the people that know and watch these games that you know surely would put more money down would go with the Guardians. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's such a hard pick for me. But I'm going to go ahead and go against my conspiracy mind. And I'm going to say the Guardians win this for Dormandy. <laughs> you know, poor guy got kicked out of the league for supposedly <laughs> giving up his playbook. And now all of a sudden he's playing, his light, playing the lights out and yeah. got cleared of all charges. But, you know, we're all still suspicious of it. Yeah. <laughs> and then you got a 42-point spread. And... You know, if the Guardians win like I think they, they could or should, you know, that 42 would look appealing to go with the over. Mm -hmm. But Arlington's defense plays good and their offense plays terrible, so I'm I'm still going to say under on that game. Okay, okay. I like it. I like, I like the under also as well. And uh, Orlando will get back to their losing ways this week too. Sorry. I, I'm afraid of that. I, I really, I feel that deep down. Because Arlington, I, I suppose they'll try to make a run for the playoffs. Whether they can, I don't know if they can make it or not with the division. Oh yeah, they, yeah, they, for they sure. In the playoffs now. Okay. Yeah. So. They, they, they the second, and they, I mean, they the second, but behind Houston. Okay. And they so, the so, so, so they, they need close though. So they need this win to to have them in Houston uh, fighting for the little situation uh, yeah. to represent that 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 uh that side of the. Uh, Conference, so exactly. yeah, yeah. Give me, uh, give me Arlington minus one and a half. I mean, not nah, plus, plus one. And a half, yeah. No, I want outright. I want one and a half. Yeah, outright. Um, and that, and you did the 
uh, on, under. On, um, I, I, I feel the same way, mate. Uh, <clears throat> what I was thinking was, um, and now what's the what's the points on it? Forty two points mm -hmm. on this one. Um, I think that Arlington can't afford to lose this game, but Orlando can. But even though they'll look good doing, they'll look good losing. So you think you might go over with it? So yeah, I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Arlington. Money line, cause I think they're gonna beat them, mm -hmm. and I'm going with the overs, cause I think it's gonna be a good game. That's what you say. You think it's gonna be a good show? They're gonna, gonna let Orlando have a good show. Yeah, yeah. Show. But it's still, I can be, see that. it's still gonna be right. 19 to 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, some shit like that. Man. Yeah, it could. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think it's gonna be a high scoring game um, with with these two teams because. <laughs> Arlington gonna have to score every time uh, Orlando scores. You know oh, yeah. I mean? Because they they'll be three and five if they lose this game. They'll go for, they'll go to five hundred if they win it, and they'll still be but and they will still be second in their division depending oh, on the other. Yeah, depending but on they'll open up the door for somebody else to jump over them or tie their record, man. Exactly. So I, I think they gotta stay ahead this week. Man. But so. but. They may <clears throat> bring them down to let them battle for the second spot against somebody else to bring yeah. some excitement into it. Yeah. So yeah, but I'm gonna stick with my pick though. Okay. But I can see them letting all. I can see Arlington losing this game. Yeah. I can see it happening. Yeah. For some excitement. In, yeah. In, in, that in, the, in that division, right? right. Because um, hey, um, I guess that you know the kick because. That, yeah, that would get that would that's put them down and have them last the bottom three battling in that, in that division because it's it's looking black it's looking bleak in that division for saying. anybody but Houston. That's what yeah, I'm that's right. And they brought Houston down with three in a row. Yeah, three in a row. That's yeah. why I don't believe Houston gonna lose no more. And I, <laughs> <laughs> Houston gonna win the rest of that game. They lost in the, the, in the spirit, in the spirit of my buddy Leslie and giving I was holding out on my Guardians pick is you understand. That the Guardians are in that division. They in um, division with see that. So they would want you to think that the Guardians was, is going to win to bring and make it. To make it yeah, because they need to. They need to uh, but, uh, but, but buckle up. But and, they want. Yeah, you know, start. Battling. But to me, if the XFL wants better ratings, I'm sorry, Arlington is not exciting. No. The Brahmas are not exciting. The Brahmas are two and the four. The Vipers are not exciting. Yeah, but the Renegade, I mean, the Guardians are the team right now that I could see them wanting to be the other team to play Houston at the they end. Could, yeah. And so that's why I think they'll beat the Renegades. Okay. Because they're going to want Orlando to be in that final game. And I didn't yeah. realize Orlando still has a decent chance to do it. And... I'm, yeah, I'm going even is. forward and That's saying nice world, right? that it's going to be like, Orlando playing Houston in, in, the, in, in, the, in, the, in that division. Yeah, I'm taking the worst to almost first. <laughs> I like Arlington. Yeah. You like Arlington to play, to, to play, to play Houston. That's what I'm wearing. The way it's going, you know what I mean? Now, I'm going to tell you something. If Orlando pulls this out, then I, 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 I'll be I'll be inclined to go with you probably because everybody will be almost everybody be in that same you know what I mean yeah. uh, um, three losses three, 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 three losses I mean three win uh, five loss bracket if Arlington pulls this off it'll put Orlando out of it I'm pretty sure yeah probably yeah I think it'll but, but eliminate them but, but when Orlando started on four you you knew. Then though that they were they they're just giving yeah. you like you said yeah. Yeah. some some hope for the for the fans and no nah, yeah. watch smack yeah. get them out of here get so, them out of here all right I, I like I like it you so got Orlando, right? we're all yeah I'm definitely Orlando, taking Orlando I, I'm I'm going even further ahead and saying Orlando versus the Roughnecks in the end and for the for the wow. championship yeah I'm saying they go on a run here at the end <laughs> uh. That's the Brahms, right? Yeah. Well, they get that gets us to our next game, the Roughnecks and the Brahmas. Mm -hmm. mm. The Brahmas are a five-point underdog to the Roughnecks. Mm. It's a forty-one-point spread. Now, I'm going to say on, something on. right now that's kind of ticking me off, and I can't figure it out. What's that? And unfortunately, I would love to go to you fans and explain to you what the hell's happening, but I don't know. Yeah. Because a lot, I'm I'm looking and some of the players that I was invested in aren't doing anything. Mm -hmm. Brandon Silvers, man, 
that dude looked like the best quarterback in the XFL. First game, yeah. So, yeah, all the way through, but he's not even playing. What's going on with him? He's yeah. hurt. They were winning every time he played, they won. Mm -hmm. Now Cole McDonald has been starting every game. I can't find that he's been hurt. Yeah. I can't find why he's not playing. But one thing's for certain, Cole McDonald is losing. <laughs> Silvers was winning. Yeah, it's Houston, yeah. right? Yeah, Houston. Yeah, they had to put him in for the losses. Yeah. yeah. Cole didn't want to sign up for the losses on the shit. That's what I've been saying. I was saying Brandon Silvers was like, fine, yeah, we can yeah, lose. Right. Yeah. But, but I won't got, be up there. Yeah, yeah, I ain't yeah. going to be behind yeah. center. Yeah. You know? You're not going to yeah. make me look bad. Yeah, I'm trying to get him in there. Yeah, exactly. yeah. That's not going to my portfolio, buddy. Yeah. yeah. No. And hey, this, this no. might even be working out for Brandon Silvers because right. it's like, see, there, this is what happens when I'm yeah. not in here. Yeah. And now the next thing you know, he's coming in and he's, you know, going to raise the roughnecks back to what they need to be yeah. and that's what I'm I don't know because I got the Roughnecks minus five playing in San Antonio against the Brahmas which I think even with Cole McDonald Houston's a better team than the yeah. Brahmas and conspiracy theories football yeah <laughs> I'm gonna the Brahmas don't score points that well yeah, yeah. right this is the why exactly the, the 41 yeah, yeah. You, you don't take the under but I just think maybe this week Brandon Silvers comes back, and he comes back to prove a point. Mm -hmm. And San Antonio does have a decent defense. Yes. But I say he pours 34 points on the Brahmas this week. And Brandon Silvers return to show why Houston was undefeated mm -hmm. and why they're... They look like the strong. Why they, why they will win the million dollar game. Yeah, exactly. Because they will win it. Yeah, he's got to come in and show why Houston Roughnecks yeah, were the team to beat yeah. before this Cole McDonald stepped in and made them look like a mid, yeah, a mid range team. So I'm taking the, the Roughnecks. I'm going to go ahead and take the over just because I think that he pours in enough points to take them over the over. How about the Roughnecks and under? Yeah, you know, that's how I wrote that down. I got last I got, but not the, least. I got the rough next and over for the same reason. I think that Houston to come back and get back into the minus five. game. I'm yeah, minus five. So it's unanimous on that. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, it was not unanimous on that. Uh, me and Paul went over, you went under, but I just think that yeah, they gonna come back and kick the hell out of somebody, so them that they back, so they get the camaraderie, that congruency back, and they gonna look like a make a push, you know? Exactly. And, and that type of thing. So. And this is also in their division, whereas yeah. losing but, to but the Battle Hawks didn't hurt them that much. But if we listening to his theory from last week, then we got to take Houston this week. Hence yeah. why it's a unanimous decision. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we all bought into it. We yeah, know right. where it's going it's now. Right, right. Yeah, it's time to get back, find for them to get back on track. Now the big game, and this is where you got to find out what the XFL wants, what Vegas wants, what everybody wants in the end, because this game is a big game. Yeah. You got the DC Defenders and the Seattle Sea Dragons. And the Sea Dragons have Josh Gordon mm -hmm. on their team. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, they have Danucci. Mm -hmm. exactly. He's looking great. Right. But then you have the Defenders and they just lost. Yeah. After looking great for six games in a row. Exactly. But they have who was the start of the year's star quarterback, everybody said was probably the best quarterback in the league in Jordan yeah. Tamu. Oh, okay. They got the running back that's running for 100 to 200 yards every week. Yeah. You know, who do you want in that game? It's hard to Where's the again? What's that? The air. Who was he quarterback? Uh, he he Did plays he for the defenders as the he's backup the quarterback. Mm -hmm. He's like the uh, wildcat. Yeah, wildcat quarterback. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to it's hard to go against those defenders the way they look, two. man. Yeah, two point. Getting two? Nah, yeah, defenders getting two points. Uh, so he losing yeah. again, then. Yeah, it's it's saying it's it's hard to go against DC, but I've been kind of slick on the side riding with Seattle and I think that the only problem with Seattle winning this game is that it puts them that much further ahead of Seattle, you know what I mean? But with I mean they records are tied both on five and two at this point. Who? But 
the Seattle. If oh, Seattle the, Fenders beat, are, the Fenders are six and one, but if Sea Dragons win, they'll be, they'll be tied. Six and two. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. six and two. They'll be six and two, and then if if but if 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 St. Louis wins this week, they'll be six and two. So, so yeah. that'll make that division tougher than shit. That's mm -hmm. what it's gonna be. Yeah. All of them will be six and that's two in that division. But that being so, said, I want the sea dragon. That's what I say too. Four to seven and a half. <laughs> That'll be the only game to go over this week. You think so? That's the high power game for the week. Yeah. It's gonna be hard to make that one go under. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. give me the over on that, and I like Seattle Sea Dragons giving Man. up the two points. Yeah. 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 And it's yeah. a high. It's a high spread. It's yeah. forty seven and a half. That's what yeah. I'm saying though. That's kind of high. That's the one I like. That's the only reason I like it. Yeah. And for me, you I'm over. Yeah. I'm going to go against everybody, and I'm going to take the defenders. I, I'm still money taking line. the over. Money line. Oh, yeah. Got to take a money yeah, line. Yeah, exactly. And it's not really worth that much, but for me, I, I think the defenders have to win this game. Here's the thing. You got three teams here. Yeah. You got the defenders, the Sea Dragons, and the Battle Hawks, and every one of those teams are teams that should be in a playoff. Yeah. And they're all like star-studded teams, but I think McCarron is going to be the face of the XFL this year, so, so he's got to be year. there. Mm -hmm. And Seattle has Josh Gordon; they have Danucci, but defenders have a team. Yeah, and it may be Seattle the whole time. We got, yeah, they got us thinking DC, yeah. DC, oh, yeah. DC. And then slide Seattle win on you. And see, if Seattle wins this game, it changes the whole Got picture in. altogether. And I could see them doing that. And I definitely can see where you guys are coming from. But I'm taking D.C. because mm -hmm. I think they've got to eliminate somebody. Battle Hawks or Sea Dragons yeah. somewhere. Or the Defenders. Now, that would be a shock. Yeah, that's, it could that's, be the defenders that's, that's, that need to get that's, that's my thing. I think, I'm going to tell you something. The reason why I picked Seattle is because I believe Seattle and St. Louis uh, end up playing for that division, man. Instead of D.C. after exactly. they did so well exactly. all year, everybody won't even, thinking won't even, won't even the division. Exactly. You know I, I mean? totally see that, but I got this picture that I figured from D.C. has beat the Battle Hawks two times. Mm -hmm. And to me, I think they're setting it up for that to be a playoff game and for everybody to bet on D.C. because obviously yeah, yeah. they already beat them twice. <laughs> and so that's why <laughs> I... I the odds of beating them three times? Anyway, even, yeah. even, even if I was a fan or whatever, I'm still betting with the other team because... Three in a row? Yeah. 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 It don't happen in pros, boys. Not in real yeah. life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, every time, every, every now and then, a team gets swept in the play in the NBA playoffs. Well, I'll tell you, like, or like season season time, season. yeah, something like in the NFL, yeah, uh, our Titans, yeah. You remember, uh, there was a year that the Jacksonville Jaguars had Mark Brunel and they had a great man, defense. Man, they went John Henderson fourteen mm -hmm. and three. Yeah, they should have went to the Super Bowl that year. They were better than everybody. They lost three games yeah. to the Titans. Every one of them to the Titans. <laughs> Two in the regular season, one in the playoffs. In the playoffs. Yeah. Every That's one of crazy. them, they lost to That's the Titans. sick. Yeah. Yeah. You feel so bad for them. And then, of course. Because they, cause you, know what, cause you know what fans are thinking. People are thinking, oh, they're going to win this one. Yeah. They're going to win this one. Yeah. They're going to win this one. Yeah. They oh, yeah. break you. <laughs> what? And here, here's the thing. You. Everybody got in on this Super Bowl. Because that was the year of the best show on turf. Mm -hmm. You had the Rams, no. No. and then you had the Jaguars. And the Jaguars had a great offense that and year. And defense. And, and defense. Yeah. They had everything going for them, and everybody before the Super Bowl was already looking forward to the St. Louis Jaguars Super Bowl. Yeah. And so it was already in everybody's head. And, of course, everybody took that bet on yeah. the Jaguars winning that game. Right. And then the Titans won. And if you saw the two teams play, you would have realized that Jacksonville should have won every one of those three games, you know? Had they not laid down for Vegas. Exactly. Vegas <laughs> is real, folks. Exactly. Let, well, me, let me tell you, as a man that wagers his money, it's real. Yeah. I lost my paycheck this week for the record. <laughs> I did lose. I worked hard as hell last week for yeah. free. But let, me, <laughs> but let me say, our man here on all of his XFL bets. Hit them all. Hit them all. Should have stayed in the XFL. Yeah. The only thing I did wrong, 
Yeah. And stay in the fucking XFL for all my bets. And then hit that one college game, the one that I did. Yeah. Yeah. With the my uh with the San Diego with the buzzer beater. Yeah, yeah. I'd have yeah. raped I'd have man. Yeah. Man. The man was Shit. looking at putting up his paycheck, but getting Twenty-two times yeah. his paycheck back right. because of all the bets he made, and damn near nailed it. Yeah, I was at the. Uh, you know, you know they got a thing on um, on the on the li online on apps that you can cash out early. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Yeah. I could have cashed out and everything. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, on, on, on one of them, because I, the one I sent to y'all, I, I, I couldn't. But the, another one I did the exact same thing. It was only like a fourteen or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I could have cashed out, man. Yeah. Oh man. I think I left the. Uh, I think I might have left the women's. What's the name on there? I wouldn't let you. Or, or I may have just hit two, and then and then Iowa and Miami. Yeah. And so I, I could have took. I could have hit those two and cashed out and made money still. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I'm greedy though. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm thinking like, why are they offer me this money for free? Yeah. Exactly. It's like stocks. Yeah. Well, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't help my man either because when we called and talked, I sat there and talked about how that Miami <laughs> looked like they were happier to be there than yeah, you called yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But here is the thing, and this is kind of what you come to realize. It's like, why did UConn look so calm and careless in that game? They knew. It was because they already knew they won. Yeah, yeah. They knew they had it all. And that's the thing because I'm thinking, I even wouldn't read about the coaches and thinking the coach. I, this one made me take Miami. I said, Larry Nago, whatever his name, I said, he's going to get one before he retire. He's going to retire. So that was my mindset, and that's what made me jump all over my I was all over my yeah. You could have told me. I was with people. you. I was with you if I, you know, yeah. if I'd have had it, I, I would have been right there with you. But yeah, I was probably, thinking. Probably the most time. of the nation probably went for that. You know yeah. what I mean? For them to lose, yeah. handle it like oh, that. Oh, yeah. Everybody yeah. had yeah. money. Yeah. 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 yeah, it was it was shocking. I, I think everybody watched that tournament realizing that the underdog was winning everything. So I think everybody was like, Ooh, exactly. I get more money if I take Miami. You With know? five and a half. Yeah. yeah. Like who who won't take that for their money? Like the safe pick. Yeah. yeah. It made sense. It was a sense. It was all the sense in the world pick. Yeah. But UConn, I guess I don't know. I, I guess that was up under the radar because you never heard one thing about UConn. I wouldn't hear it. They never even their games that that was broadcast. I didn't even I never watched one of them. Yeah. During the tournament. Yeah. And yet, uh, to the end, in Miami. Well, I do. Nobody out. beats Vegas, baby. Yeah. And I do mean nobody. Nobody. And that's why. Nobody beats That's Vegas. why our man Mater has told us so many times the idea is to bet with them. Yeah. To make money with Vegas. Yeah. Try. You to. know? And try to coexist. And make a little bit of the money. And not get too greedy. No, because they'll trick you too, boy. Because if yeah. you, you think it's all this, this, this. <laughs> Yeah, let me get that. Yeah. If, you, thought we, you thought it was a conspiracy then. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you start, and that's the thing. It's just like the whole deal with the house. We know that if you go into Vegas and you start winning money, you know, and you start winning and winning and winning, they're going to kick you out. Right. Yeah. Doing nothing, not cheating, doing nothing wrong, doing anything wrong. Just, they are gonna pull up on you. They are gonna roll up on you three, four deep. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We don't know what you're doing. Yeah, we don't want you. We don't want your game here. Yeah, yeah. But hey, we're here. We we've been telling you. If you've been watching, man, we've given you guys opportunities. We, you could have made money the last two weeks. I don't think there's necessarily a sure pick this week. But I will say this. I think the closest thing we have, and I'll, I'll let you guys agree or disagree, is just that Vegas covers seven points. Would you say that's, or which one would you say out of all of them we agree on we think will actually happen? Do we all pick, you know, we pick uh, the one. We we all picked Houston. That's what it is. Minus okay. five. We that's just, what it is. Uh, okay. Just that's what it is. Okay. That's what it is. Yeah. Because Houston will be back this week. They can't do a poor not show in the division. But they can also win and not cover the spread. Yeah. True. Yeah. Five. But all of us took Houston and minus five points, yeah. which is, you know. A lock. That's our lock, obviously. Yeah. Jump on. So it. I would say that one, we, we kind of disagree on the over and under on that one, but. Uh, uh, Houston and minus five lock is is our lock for the week. But the last two weeks we've given you stuff. 
If you if you paid attention, you won some good money. Yeah. You know, and we keep telling you, Rock, man, we're making you look good, make us look good. We need some stuff, man. I saw you wearing an Arlington jersey. I can't even buy an Arlington jersey. I can't buy jerseys. I got my Kaka shirt. That's all I got. Yeah. I'm like, there's not that much swag out there. Send us some swag. Send us some jerseys, and then put it on your XFL shop, and we'll sell them for you. I, we'll get them I, out there. I think that's where you want us to go to XFL.com to buy some some, mm -hmm. some stuff. I think. Do that, but you go, they don't have jerseys. They just yeah, have t -shirts yeah. And yeah. hats. Yeah. But we're telling you, start making jerseys. Send them to us, and we'll sell jerseys for you. Talk to them, Paul. We'll Talk get you. That. We'll Talk get you them. plenty of sales. I mean, we we got us a whole connection of people that we mm -hmm. we know pretty well that would love some XFL jerseys. Exactly. So hook us up. We'll hook you up. Exclusives. Make us look good while we're making you look good. Exclusives. And for all you guys that listening, we love you guys. We hope you guys listen. We hope you guys get some good picks. And we're giving you the knowledge so that you can make the best pick possible. And we're letting you know about the things that we know that help us. And promise you, if you listen, you're going to learn something and you're going to make some money. Yeah. And it's free. Free. Free.com. So, Y'all have it. <laughs> See you guys next week. We over and out, Jack. Over and out, baby. Yeah. Good show, good show.